remind you that it's time for a Ramus Solo Q game. Hooray! It's still not Season 7, though. This one. And, yeah, I mean, what I mean by that is that if it was Season 7, it would matter a lot more, but whatever. Let's do it. Anyways, you can see the enemy team has Jax, Master E, Jace, Caitlyn, and a support brand. First, I was going to go Zin Zhao, and then, yeah, Jax sort of scared me off of that. And then they picked Master Yi, and then Jace, and I was like, you know what? Ramus has got to fuck some bitches, so now I'm Ramus. Runes and Masteries are a bit different than before. There's 6, 6, and 18, taking in the obviously overpowered Shield Mastery, and my runes actually have attack speed in them. I believe it was attack speed red and uh, attack damage quins, or the other way around, it doesn't really matter that much. Armor yellow and magic resistance blues. Now, I'll tell you this much the early game is ridiculously boring. Really, not pretty much nothing happens. And it's been kind of something I've noticed. Right now, uh, the early game doesn't isn't as involved unless you're picking very, very involved early game junglers. And it's mostly just going back and forth trying to find some sort of advantage. And then when the mid game kicks in, all hell breaks loose. So yeah, games are a little bit slower and they pick up really quickly. Or at least that's what I've noticed so far. Unless you just sort of stomp and most games have been rather stompish. The stomp either happens super early or mid game. Late game, I haven't really had any mid uh, late game kind of games in uh, during the preseason. It might just be because it's preseason and people aren't really caring that much, but we'll see. Anyways, if you notice some kind of weird sound in my voice, it's because I'm currently sick and have been battling an illness for about a week now. It's just a cold, and it usually happens because winter's setting in, but eh, we'll, we'll get through with that, right? Anyhow, as you can see, it's just one to one and it's about eight minutes in, almost nine minutes in. Master E's invading, taking a few, um, taking my blue. We're just kind of going back and back and forth, trying to control the plants and some wards. I not really haven't bought a control ward yet because I don't want to waste my gold. I'm trying to rush armor as quickly as possible, sort of because um, once I buy armor, pretty much no one on their enemy team will be able to do absolutely anything to me unless the brand somehow gets fed. But that's not gonna happen, as you can see. Anyhow, three and four, some actions starting to finally happen, but it's mostly just because. Some they decided to be suicidal and dive. If anything, is still rather equal and more. It, but by the replay, in my team's favor, we have gold advantage. Whatever. Right now, I'm gonna go top to gank Jax, and I actually kind of assumed the master you would be here, though not as quickly as I got here. I thought he he would just show up just as I got here. Turns out he was hiding in the bushes entire time, but like he really had no chance of winning these this two v two fight. I'm Ramos, so Jax died, and then Master E dies, even though I died. It's whatever. I just kind of overcommitted, mostly because I didn't think Master Yi was going to be there yet. So, whatever. Uh, two for one, still kind of fine. The, the kills go on Lulu, who's kind of dominating right now. And to be fair, Lulu would also super counter the enemy team, so having her get big is a pretty big deal as well. Anyhow, Jin gets a kill and sacrificing Karma, then gets another kill in the brand, so he too is ridiculously big. Right now, if we can maintain the status quo, if I can make it so Mastery cannot do anything in team fights and sort of Jax doesn't get to jump on anyone uh, important, we should be able to crush them absolutely. And of course, it's just by the length of this video, you can kind of tell how it's going to go. I go for Jay's, he flashes away. It's still a successful gank because all it cost me was a bit of mana for my Q. We go down bottom, we sort of roam around, and then this part is very peculiar. The Jax should have known better. I go in on the Jays right now just to start to see if I can sort of fight, you know, go after the Jax and go to the Jays. And then the Jax should know that my teammates are still around. So he gets a little too close. He gets absolutely wrecked by the Oriana, and then the enemy team just can't really do much about that. Then Caitlyn is trapped a dragon. The uh, Oriana pisses off the dragon, so the dragon mauls Caitlyn. We know she's going to try to jump over the wall, but Brand is desperately trying to protect her. I go in. He, he manages to stun me, surprisingly. I thought I dodged that. And we managed to kill him off, and I survived by a sliver of health. So, that's a very good fight for us. It's mostly because the enemy team wasn't fighting that properly. And I know, yeah, my throat, my voice is sounding very off right now, but yeah, I'm sick. I'll just repeat that again. <clears throat> Anyhow, it, the whole roam game has begun. Now that we've gotten uh, the top tower, now that Lulu's pretty big and we can use her presence everywhere, she's beginning to roam to help us obtain kills and ganks. Anyhow, like I said, I'm pretty much just running around trying to keep Master E and technically Jackson check. Here, I actually was super tunnel visioned on the on the brand. My camera wasn't angled properly, and I never saw Jax even show up. So I was like, a oh, 2v2 we win this, but a uh, 3v2, nah. So, yeah, still though, my team gathers up, we're pushing forward. The enemy Caitlyn is really behind in terms of, well, 
level and everything. She's pretty fucking weak right now. So if we push that advantage, I'm pretty much just going to maul their melee group and then we're going to just pierce through them and they're going to do much. Anyways, Master Yi and Jax fight the Lulu who is huge as fuck. I don't even know why they tr he Jax even try. I knew Master Yi was close, but they can't even dent her. So you can see Master Yi died with very little effort and then Lulu just goes in on, the, on a predatory hunt for Jax and kills him. It's pretty much a dunzo deal for that combination of champions. Master Yi and Jax are dunzo. Here, the Lulu almost mauled the Jace himself, and the Uriana gets him because he decided to try to go back within inside of us, as I like in our line of vision. I don't know why people try to do that. I mean, it doesn't take much effort just to walk, you know, within the safety of your tower or some shit, or pay attention to the fact that the Uriana was coming to kill him. But whatever. With that, it makes it for a very easy dragon for us. And it's, as you can see, like, at a certain point of the game, past the early por portion, it was super slow, and then, boom, just explosion, everybody's mauling each other, and all hell breaks loose. It's like, I guess, I had a bit of the rework with some of the items, and I guess when you're able to actually take advantage of the, uh, the map, uh, the map now, things just sort of explode. By the way, this is a little funny moment. I knew he was about to flash, so I was just like, is he flashing, is he flashing? I kept going back and forth. Then we give chase to him, and there's no chance Jace is going to run away from us. He's pretty much trapped, and he knows it, so uh, he might as well just have died quickly or uh, try to do some shenanigans. But, yeah, he dies rather easily, and with that, we're able to obtain Baron because there's no opposition, and we know it's not Warden either. Caitlyn is mid, and their brand is somewhere else. Jax is top, and even if they came in, they just die really quickly, so a very easy Baron for us. And with that, the game is just on full-on snowball mode. I mean, it was for a while now, but now it's freaking guaranteed. I didn't even smite, mostly because I didn't even expect us to burst it down real quickly. Now here, the the Caitlyn just gets super fucking penis -y. The uh, like the Oriana got trapped and the Caitlyn decided to be cheeky and try to shoot her in the face. But that's just the, the ball was set there. She just ended up getting balls down her throat. Anyways, Brand, I don't know, just on a super out of place. Jin basically trapped him with his ultimate and we gave a short chase and kill him. At this point, the enemy team just sort of gave up, right? They're on sort of a, a full on collapse. And I know some will say, so what? Why upload a stomp or something? Like I said, most games have either been like a very, very early stomp where then nothing really happened, just one person got super fed and just sort of steamrolled it, or it was a very slow start in leading into a really, really active mid-game that leads to one team just stomping, and not very few really grueling, uh, like, late-ish kind of games. Anyways, I love this little scene. I chased Master G to the depths of the earth and to grab him and taunt him. You can see my, my build is basically pure anti-physical melee or physical damage. He couldn't even scratch me. And I know, yeah, he's he's on the side of the losing team, but he's got a lot of farm, and he actually has the most kills on the enemy team. So, he himself, personally, isn't as far behind as the rest of his team. So, yeah, he pretty much tickled my balls and did nothing else. He died. So, yeah, the enemy team just can't really muster up a defense here. Where, uh, also, I gotta say, that, that new item, that little AoE healing nuke thingy, fucking broken as shit. I don't even know why they added it in the game. I mean, I do know why they probably added it to the game, but, damn, it's fucking strong. Anyways, we get the next dragon, which is the blue dragon, which kind of is a little bit abusive at this point. Uh, Jin catches Bran, uh, kills his ass. We chase after Jace. I love this. I spin from, from that bush all the way to the little gate. And, I mean, I wasn't even going to be able to hit him with my Q, but he was that afraid. So he ended up just flashing. And yeah, you can see, the, the game is pretty much just over. We're taking the Nexus turret, Jace is running around uh, afraid, Oriana kind of doesn't get the most maximum ultimate, but the enemy team is going to cluster up anyways, where the Oriana's going to chunk the shit out of them right now, you'll see. They get chunked in, my ultimate does away with Brand, we chase with the Jace, he gets killed, uh, the Jax gets nuked down by the uh, Lulu, and then just, that's it. Caitlyn also gets a little too close, it gets blow, uh, blown up as well, so... There you go. Game's over. Kind of stompy. The enemy team picked really, really, really poorly and ran us pushed him. Hooray! Yay! This channel is supported by my sponsors, Crunchyroll and Loot Crate. Check out the description below for links to the websites. Signing up for any trials, including Crunchyroll's free anime trial, greatly supports my channel. Also remember to give the video a like to support the channel and subscribe if you haven't yet. I've also made a Patreon now and if you wish to support me through that medium then I welcome it. Oh, hello. If you're still listening to this, you guys know that I have to sort of try to do my very special best, my super giga kawaii best, 
to make it a 10 minutes because somehow that's how it works on YouTube. Anything less than 10 minutes, you don't get those end advertisements, so you sort of lose out. So I gotta cheat out this last 10 minutes, and here we go, hooray!